Intrauterine insemination, IUI. The doctor will first ask the husband to collect his semen by masturbation. Afterwards, he has to bring his semen to the IVF laboratory where his semen will be processed. The laboratory technician will aspirate a small amount of semen on a glass slide for analysis. Under the microscope, the quality of the semen will be assessed. After the semen analysis, the technician will transfer the rest of the semen to a density gradient centrifugation procedure to separate the motor from non-motor sperms. This procedure involves a high-speed centrifugation. Sperms with higher motility will settle to the bottom of the centrifugation tube, while sperms with lower or no motility will remain in the upper layers. The motile sperm will now be collected from the bottom of the centrifuge tube. Under the microscope, a small amount of the motile sperm preparation is observed. The prepared sperms show a much higher motility with rapidly forward progressive movement. These actively motile sperms will be loaded into a catheter and the doctor will insert this catheter through the cervix and into the uterus. The actively motor sperm will quickly swim into the fallopian tubes. Soon, the egg will be surrounded by a bunch of actively swimming sperms. These sperms will swim towards the egg, and only one of them would eventually be able to get inside the egg. After two weeks, pregnancy tests can be performed in the clinic to check whether the artificial insemination is successful or not.